Hey y'all, welcome back to the King's Corner. So today we are going to talk about 10 underrated Elvis songs. So I was thinking of lists and things I can do and I was thinking, you know, what's a song? Well, what are some songs that Elvis did that don't really get a lot of attention, but are really good? And you know, I had no problem thinking of songs. So on my Instagram at Daily Elvis Posts, I asked um, people there, what is a song you think is underrated an Elvis song? And uh, I got so many responses, and uh, a lot of people brought up songs that I didn't even think of and I thought, you know, would be good for this video. So you're not going to hear everything in this video. Be on the lookout for future underrated Elvis videos. Um, we'll have some more in the future. But anyway, uh, we're just going to go 10 all the way to the top. Um, these are just songs I picked. Got my handy-dandy notebook, so you see me looking down. Everybody knows already. Let's get started, y'all. So the first one... Number 10 is High Heel Sneakers. This is a this is a great song. I first heard it, honestly, not too long ago, maybe a year or two ago, on like a 60s compilation. And uh, I was like, you know, this is really good. I don't know how I never heard it. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. Um, but it's, it's, it's a pretty cool song. It's also been done by Stevie Wonder. Um, Paul McCartney did the song for, I think it was his Unplugged album in 91. And the original was done by Tommy Tucker on the uh, Checker label. So really cool track. Check out uh, Elvis's version. And then check out the original too. It's a good one as well. Oh, and Stevie Wonders was great. I really liked his. All right, number nine is So Close Yet So Far from Paradise from Harem Scarum, um, 1965. So this is probably my favorite track off the album. This is actually, it's a really good soundtrack, Harem Scarum. And I feel like the whole soundtrack and movie don't really get a lot of attention um but it's just got such cool vibes great tunes but i think so close yet so far from paradise is my favorite off the album even though there's probably some others you'll see in another video number eight is only believe from love letters 1971 so i haven't in my life haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to the album love letters and lately i have been listening to it and i just i've been digging it i've been loving it and Only Believe is a great track. And speaking of love letters, number seven is When I'm Over You, which is another song from the album. Yeah, I think I think a lot of the stuff he did in 1971 gets overlooked. I've heard people say that it was his, like, forgotten year. Um, yeah, I don't really think about 71 that much. So uh, Love Letters is great. It's kind of fresh to me. So I'm really liking the songs off that album. Number six is My Baby Left Me, recorded in 1956. And... Um, it appeared on the album for LP fans only in 59. Um, this is this is a cool song. This is also another Arthur Crudup song who did That's All Right Mama. Uh, I think this one gets overlooked, and I'll tell you why. Because this is a song he did in 1956. So you got to think about, you know, what was going on in 56. Well, that was probably Elvis' biggest year of all time. You know, he, you know, he became a superstar that year. Songs came out like Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, um, <clears throat> Don't Be Cruel, uh, Love Me Tender. I mean, the list goes on of songs that are 10 times more popular. And I think it's really easy to overlook My Baby Left Me, which I just, I don't think it's a lot of attention. And I love it. So I love this song. It's probably my favorite from 56. Number five is Almost In Love. Now, this is a cool one. Um, it's a slow ballad. Uh, got real cool guitar intro. Uh, just real, a real calming song. And I really like it. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. Almost In Love gets the number five spot. Number four is Down in the Alley from the Spin Out soundtrack. Uh, this wasn't in the movie. This was just a uh, an added bonus track for the album. And, oh, I just love it. Um, this is also a song I think he brought back in, like, 74. He was bringing back some cool stuff that year. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really good little blues number. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Check it out. Number three is Good Time Charlie's Got the Blues from the Good Times, 1974. Um, so I never really paid a lot of attention to this song, and then what, but when I was in Memphis this, uh, last August, I was hanging out with John Daly at his, uh, Elvis Festival, and I, uh, w he was, you know, playing the Elvis radio and whatnot throughout the day, and this song probably came on ten times while I was in Memphis, and, oh, I just loved every time it came on, and just hit every time, it was just beautiful music to my ears. I really like the song, love it, uh, check it out, y'all. We got two more here, folks. Number two is It's a Long, Lonely Highway from the Kissing Cousins soundtrack, 1964. Uh, 
great song. You know, I've said this in the past. This is a song I like to, you know, listen to, like, on the stroll in the park. You know, it just puts you in a good mood. And um, lo I just love it. I think it sounds fantastic. And the number one underrated Elvis song, in my opinion, is Where Do I Go From Here? Uh, this comes off the Fool album, 1973. Um, you know, a couple years ago, I was pulling out some old Elvis CDs, and this was a song on one of them, um, and, like, so I haven't heard it since I was, you know, got six years old, and it was just, it was great. It was, uh, it kind of starts out slow, and you think, I thought, oh, this ain't gonna be very good, and then it gets into it, and, yeah, I love it. It's a great song. The album eh, that it comes off of, this probably, probably, maybe this and one more track I really like off that album. I don't think it's his best selling album. But yeah, Where Do I Go From Here gets the number one spot. So everybody, that is my 10 underrated Elvis songs list. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Be on the lookout for another underrated list coming up in the future. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and share it somewhere so everyone can see. And until next time, y'all be good to yourselves. And uh, yeah, see you later, guys.